Hey everybody, here's those deer roast. I have two of them. I thought I had four, but the other two packages were back straps and they're still frozen. So I put them back in the freezer, save those for another day. Kathy don't like deer roast, but she does like deer steak, so or venison steak, whatever you want to say. So uh, the back straps I will make for her one day for dinner. Now I'm going to, this. they're soaking in, in water right now, I'm going to put some salt in it, and I'm also going to throw a can of beer in there. Uh, that'll help uh, tenderize the roast. Here's some salt. I'm using pink Himalayan salt. About a tablespoon. That should be more than plenty. The salt's going to help uh, take away the gamey taste. Um, it's going to help uh, tenderize the meat too. And I'm going to put that beer in just a second. Now I learned that uh, that trick about the beer from Emeril, the chef. Um, he showed how to uh, make ribs one day and you seize them all up and you put them in a bag. You put them in with a can of beer and you let them sit overnight. And we're not going to let this sit overnight, but we're going to pour the beer in. And that's going to help tenderize that roast. I'm also going to put this in the crock pot, but I'm going to let this soak for about an hour. And I'll bring you back. I'm going to drain it. I'll bring you back then. And then uh, we'll put it in the crock pot. Okay. <clears throat> Still got about 45 minutes left on the... Uh, soaking of the the roast but right now I got two uh, beef bouillon cubes and a package of Lipton onion soup mix I'm gonna put them here in the crock pot I've got about uh, I don't know, three and a half four quarts of water in there it's all filtered water I'm gonna put the, the bouillon cubes in there and the uh, onion soup mix I'm gonna get that started uh, so when the roast is ready to come out of the, uh, the water bath it's in, I can put it right into there and it can start cooking immediately. I don't know how well you can see, but right there it is the onion soup mix and the two bouillon cubes are in there. I've got it on high heat. I'll put the lid on and let it cook for the next 45 minutes until the deer roasts are ready to come out of here. I added about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons of uh, garlic powder into here. And like they say, everything's better with bay. A couple of bay leaves. Let's see what happens. Okay, everybody. There's those deer roast. They've been soaking for about an hour in beer and salt water. I'm going to drain it real good into the pot. And here is some garlic powder, onion soup mix, a couple of beef bouillon cubes, and a couple of bay leaves. I am going to put some black pepper in there, some celery salt, and some seasoning salt. Anyways, right there it is. There and there. I'll put the lid on. Now this is on high. It's going to cook for, I don't know, probably till about 5 o'clock tonight. And it's right now 11.15. So, well, I'm going to put some uh, pepper, celery salt, and some regular seasoned salt in it. I decided not to put celery salt or seasoning salt. There's black pepper, plenty of it. Probably way too much, but it'll be okay. I'm going to put these in there. That's that seasoning I tell you I buy at uh, the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you can get it anyplace else. But this is for, you know, beef, chicken, pork, deer. It doesn't matter. Any kind of meat or vegetables. 
I'm going to put two packets in there. There it is. This is where it gets a bright red orange uh, color from. It does have a lot of paprika in it. It does have a hint of uh, Mexican spices, but it is some good stuff, I'm telling you. Get my trusty old red plastic spoon out. <clears throat> uh, it's 121. This thing has been cooking for about um, two hours. So, can't really see it in there. I just stirred it up. See if I can get one to come up. There we go. Looking pretty damn good. Another couple hours. Maybe three. I don't know. They can cook all day. Five, six, eight, seven, nine, ten, eleven o'clock. I don't care. The longer they cook, the more tender they're going to be. It's on high right now. I am turning it down to low. I'm going to let it cook for the next three or four hours on low. When I'm all said and done, I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. I'm going to slice one open and take a taste. Hey everybody. Um, this here is that deer roast I cooked. I already cut it up. I've got it in the refrigerator right now, but this is a piece of it. I'm going to slice it open and show you what it looks like. Looks pretty dang good and it smells dang good. I'm telling you. Look how tender that is. Mm. That is some good stuff, I'm telling you. This is Iron Dog 63 saying, if you are a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please like and subscribe. It really does help. And as always, God bless and have a great day. Hashtag I am somebody. Hashtag looking lovely as ever. Prayers and peace to you all. Have a blessed day.